Today, we will tell you about one of the greatest progress, i.e. China's new Hyperloop train completes first test run successfully. The train will be the world's fastest ground-based transport technology if the project goes as planned. Let's check out everything about it. The world's fastest ground-based transport technology. China claims to have successfully tested a Hyperloop-style train on a 2-kilometer or 1.2-mile test track in North China, in which a train is levitated above magnetic rails inside a vacuum tube. State-run media outlets are reporting the train reached speeds of 81 miles per hour, or 130 kilometers per hour, but the design could lead to speeds of up to 620 miles per hour, or 1,000 kilometers per hour, once completed. The project goes as planned, the train will be the world's fastest ground-based transport technology. The facility where the train is being tested and built is run by the defense contractor China Aerospace Science and Industry Corporation, or CASIC, which said that all went well during the first few trials. The first test runs of China's Hyperloop project, which aims to build ultra-fast land transport technology, have been accomplished utilizing a full-sized passenger capsule. The tests were conducted at a superconducting maglev test line in Ditong, Shaanxi province, and the capsule reached speeds of up to 50 kilometers per hour while traveling 210 meters each time. The project's goal is to eventually move passengers and cargo at 1,000 kilometers per hour or faster in a near vacuum tube, making it the world's fastest ground-based transport system. China Aerospace Science and Industry Corporation, or CASIC, which created and operates the facility, carried out the tests. CASIC has been involved in the development of advanced weapons systems such as rail guns and the DF-17, China's first operational hypersonic missile. Some military specialists feel that the new Detong Hyperloop facility technology, such as electromagnetic propulsion and power management systems, could be utilized for defense. CASIC reported that critical components, including superconducting magnets, high-power electric systems, AI safety controls, wireless communication devices, and sensors, all worked as planned during the tests, paving the way for future experiments at higher speeds. The test facility's tube is currently 2 kilometers long and will be extended to 60 kilometers in the coming years to achieve a top speed of 1,000 kilometers per hour. However, the current tube available for trials measures only 1.24 miles or 2 kilometers in length. It is expected to be extended by 37 miles or 60 kilometers over the next few years. China has the noteworthy distinction of currently operating the world's largest high-speed rail network with a total length exceeding 26,000 miles, or 42,000 kilometers. Before proceeding further, please subscribe to the channel and click on the notifications so you can get notified when we upload the next video. The government has ambitious plans to increase the maximum speed of its trains to 248 miles per hour, or 400 kilometers per hour in the next two years. As such, it has been investing heavily in Hyperloop technology, in October of 2022, researchers at the North University of China successfully completed the test of a Hyperloop-like train system that runs trains in a low-vacuum environment inside a tube. The organization and the Third Research Institute of China Aerospace Science and Industry Corp jointly set up a laboratory for high-speed maglev vehicles operating in low-vacuum environments. Under this arrangement, the ceremony for the test line was carried out in May of last year in Detang, where the trials are now once again taking place. In October, the line made world history by allowing for the first full-scale and full-process integrated test of such a hyperloop system when a maglev train ran at speeds of up to 81 miles per hour, or 130 kilometers per hour. Following this success, the laboratory then began the construction of a full-scale 37-mile, or 60-kilometer test track to be completed in three phases. The purpose of the full-scale track was reported at the time as to allow the testing of trains at speeds of up to 621 miles per hour, or 1,000 kilometers per hour, which seems to be slowly becoming a reality. An idea that has been around since long. SpaceX founder Elon Musk first introduced the idea of a Hyperloop tube train back in 2012 and developed the Boring Company to bring the idea to fruition. This saw Richard Branson, the founder of Virgin Galactic, chime in with his own Hyperloop company, Hyperloop One. Since then, both these companies have, however, been plagued by technical challenges and financial burdens. Does that mean that China may soon become the leader in the technology, achieving a historic world first? Only time will tell. What are your thoughts about this new development? 
do let us know in the comments. Also, if you enjoyed this video, please hit a like button and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Thanks for watching.